All right, so you ready? Shall I? It's Thanksgiving Day, 2016, and um, I'm just calling this tutorial going for broke. So I'm just going to start by opening Excel. I got some, some hair going. All right. Mm -hmm. Excel. So all I'm going to do is, is um, plot some fake data, but um, you'll you'll see um, you'll see what I'm up to here. Yeah. All right, let's start by making this a little bit bigger. All right, so let's just call this field month, which is already there. I've got the number one, number two, number three, number four. Once you have that set up. Excel's pretty smart. You can just drag over here. Uh, I'm just going to take it out to 12. And so I'm just going to call the output. And let's just say this number is um, 2. Um, and then I'm just going to make random data. 2, 3, 5, 3, 6, 7, Eight, ten, seven, eight, whatever, eleven, three. Okay, there's your output. And then um, we'll just call that output one. Now, let's say that um, you're going to have a different factor that goes in. And I'm just going to call this, um, let's call this factor. So in this case, your original data factor is just 1. It's just the same as multiplying all these numbers times 1. So I'm not even going to mess with that. And then here, let's just say you're going to run a factor of 1.5. And here you're going to run a factor of 2. 0. Let's just make all those numbers consistent. So I'm going to do control 1 number, single sig dig. All right, so this is going to be called output 2. 2, output 3. All right, now, so this number, output 2, is going to be greater than output 1. It's going to be greater by a factor of 1.5. Equals this number times this number. So it's going to equal 2 times the factor of 1.5. I'm going to pin that. I'm going to pin the, um, I'm going to pin the column. So I'm going to put a dollar sign before the A in A6. And now all I have to do is drag these guys over. And I've got a new set of output. Now if I just take this line I can actually take the whole thing and just copy it right down here. And magic, away we go. We can see that that, uh, no, let's change it. So this is going to be dollar sign. Yeah, let's just start over. So this guy is going to equal um, the original number times that factor. And again, I'll just pin that at A. Okay, so this will work. There we go. Okay, so each one of these facts, so you can just see for, um, for, let me center these up, it'll be a little easier to see. Center. Okay. So, this, um, this row right here is going to be our independent variable. It's going to be our x-axis. And each of these three are going to be plotted on our y-axis. So output one, these are just, again, just the made-up numbers. And you know exactly what those numbers actually are. I just made them up, but you have real data already. And then um, this, I'm just multiplying each of the original data by this factor of 1.5, 
and the original fact data by one uh, two point oh. So now it should be as easy. Let's just see. I, Excel's been giving me a hard time. I'm going I'm to just highlight all of those cells. Go to home. Just go to insert. Now we're going to put in a chart. I'm going to use this guy. Ooh, it actually worked first try. Okay, so there you go. That's about all there is to it. That is about all there is to it. And if um, if that doesn't work, I'll show you another trick. Um, you can come in here and add a label. Access title. You know, make this big. Come in here. Another thing you want to you know want to do is, is make the font. You know, make this font at like 20. It might seem like it's too big, but just just do the whole. Just do all the font. For the whole graph at 20. It looks kind of funny for a second, but then you can make the chart bigger. enough. Okay. And from here you can just play with the format. But that's that's how you put data in for three different inputs. Now let's let's say we had something um, a little bit weirder. So I'm gonna save this computer documents office students. Now some might say that energy technology has not had enough students. Well, I don't know. I think we have a lot. Those are all of our students. In fact, yeah, that's a lot of students. There's like at least 20 per page. I've got two, three, four, five, Five pages, yeah, at least uh, at least a hundred advisees there. One, two, three, twenty-five more, like one hundred twenty-five. Some of those, some of the folks are other other people I've advised, not primary energy tech, but the majority are a lot of good grads. All right, where are you, Shelly? Where are you, Shelly Mitchell? I changed that name on it, too. Okay. This is an example plot. Mm -hmm. I'll show you one more thing. So let's say we, um, you can just take all this data, copy it, make a new sheet, paste it. So let's just say for whatever reason, and this, this will be the case, um, I was going to go ahead and insert a bunch of lines. Um, and I'm just going to take all this, copy it over here. And this is just junk data that you don't want to plot. So let's just start over with another plot. So start here. 
Again, I'm just going to grab these first two lines. Actually, I'll, I'll do this. Watch. I'll grab these first. I'm just going to grab all three. Yeah, I'm going to grab. There we go. This is good. I'm going to grab the, uh, let's just call this junk one. Junk two. This is actually a pretty good hack. Okay. And I'll just leave a space in here so it's easier to see. Okay. So just as before, I know I want to plot this line and these two lines, except no. Let me see if I can't take this factor. Copy it over. Let's see. Oh, the factors did come over, but what's wrong with this? Move in the wrong spot. Okay. Do that. Do that. And then I'll take these guys, drag them over. Hey. Hey. I just talked to Gal. How was it? And the boys. It's good. Good. They're doing well. What did you think of RSG? We didn't go. Uh, we went there, but it was close. We oh. went to Starbucks instead. Starbucks? Because we went to a couple of other places, and everything was closed. So Thanksgiving. Shoot. Okay, well. We just ended up going to Starbucks because that was the only place that was open. Okay. And so we just got picked up. By Olivia Timorella. Where is she? She's just taking pictures of her family. Oh, right. She'll be back, though. Okay, perfect. Before we leave. What time are we leaving? Um, we're leaving in one hour. Can you mash those potatoes? Thanks. Yeah. Just pull that lid. Just be careful with the lid and pull that foil out. Should I, just, I take the foil yeah, out? Yeah, I was just trying to keep it warm, but there's, a, there's some butter in there, so get that guy uh, fired up. Okay, now I'm ready to go. Sorry for the distraction. It's just the way it is. I'm on the YouTube. Oh, you are? What are you on? Well, I'm, um, I'm recording. I'm just uploading a little Excel. Okay. Oh, the family. All right, so insert charts. Okay, so there we go. So now I can see that um, Junk one and junk two are plotted over the top of each other. Let's just make these sixes for now. You can see that I'll obviously add those two. Yeah. Okay. So I've just used junk one and junk two as placeholders. And all I have to do is come down here, click on one of them, and you'll can, you can see that's junk two. I'm just going to drag that down to output three, output three. And I'm going to click on junk one, drag that down to output two, output two. So just to review, here's what we did. We started with data that was just um, straight up where we wanted. This was our independent variable, our month by month. And these were our three outputs. And I just dragged them all down, and the figure just formed itself. And I said, well, I know that. In the real data set, I've got all this other stuff in between. So I just pretended initially like this, these were my original plots. And I went ahead and plotted them. And then once, once the junk was plotted, I just clicked on the curve itself. So this blue used to be up here under junk one. And I just dragged it down. Too easy, right? Okay, so tell me you know to make your three plots. And then you then what you want to do from there, take this guy, copy it, and when you go into Word to drop it in. Let's wait for Word to start up here. Um, you're going to want to do a paste special and uh, paste it in there as a picture. And that way you can um, you can actually um, manipulate it a little bit better. There you go. And you can put your uh, figure title on there. So that's how you do it. Pretty simple. And remember the Alt tab. So you can switch between the two. Word and Excel. All right. Sayonara.